Hey, it's Luke for 102.1 The Edge. I'm here with Paul Mark of Silverstein, and this is The Edge's first taste at CMW. Mark, you guys are uh, you're touring with Good Charlotte right now. You're back at your first home show in a, in a while. How awesome is it to just be back home, hanging out in the city, playing to the home crowd? I mean, it always feels good, Luke. There's definitely no doubt about that. Right. Uh, we haven't been gone all that long. So, I mean, it's not the sweet release that, you know, it's not like getting home after Warp Tour where <laughs> you've just been baking in the Midwest sun and then suddenly it's Toronto and you get to, you know, die in the sauna that is, you know, the humid, terrible Toronto summer heat, <laughs> which I, I love. <laughs> I love it. It's a love-hate relationship, right? It is, it is. Um, are you, speaking of Warp Tour, actually, are you guys are performing Warp Tour again this year as well, or no? You know it, the whole yeah. thing. Right on. Yeah. Oh, the whole tour. Yeah. So you must know some people at Warp Tour, kind of, then. Like, yeah, it's. A, sort of I thing. mean, it's tons of people. Yeah, it's like tends to be the same crew and like a lot of the same bands, a lot of people doing it every other year, which is kind of how we do it. Yeah. So we're looking forward to parking up next to our, and our good friends. So you guys have been a part of the emo and hardcore scene since basically 2000. This is like 16, 17 years in the making, right? Yeah. So you guys have seen emo and hardcore change over the last couple of years. Where do you think it, uh, it's going to be going in the next maybe five to 10 years? That's a really tough call. I've, one observation I've had is the use of keyboards has changed dramatically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, think about like you, there was, you know, bands using keyboards. It was all like synthy arpeggiated stuff. And then it kind of got a bit like dubstepy hardcore for a minute. And now that's kind of gone, but now I'm seeing keyboards come back as like, I don't know, you li listen to that like new Bring Me the Horizon album, it's got yep. like a ton of synth pads everywhere, but it's never like keyboard features. So keyboards, I think, is going to be a key in the future. Keyboards key in the future. I'm interested to see what goes on. Maybe it's vocoding. Maybe everything's going to sound like image in heat. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe there's going to be no guitars at all anymore, and it's all going to be <laughs> key tars, like the 80s. Let's <laughs> throw it way back. I mean, you don't know. There's no way of predicting these things. Right I feel on. like... I wish, if I could, I think we'd be the biggest band in the world because I would have the secrets to what the future people would want to hear. It's one but of the, I don't have that. <laughs> so you guys are Burlington locals. You're, uh, you've been around here the whole time, basically. You guys haven't relocated other, anywhere else other than Toronto, have you? No, no, we've, we've always been kind of Toronto area guys. Um, yeah, we all, you know, we're born and grew up in Oakville, Burlington, and I think four or five of us live downtown now. So. Right on. Yeah, I'm not going to leave Canada. I'm not going to leave Toronto. I love <laughs> not it a here. chance. Most important city in the world. The whole universe revolves around it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, I heard Drake say that, I think. Yeah, something about running through the six with his worries, something like that. With his woes, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. So when you guys are in Toronto, what's your like go-to hangout spot? What do you guys love to do when you're just in the area? <sighs> Depends on the time of year. I feel like in the summer, I want to go to Trinity Bellwoods Park with a book and a sneaky beer, don't tell the cops, and just hang in the shade right on and watch the dogs in the dog bowl that's my thing in the winter i don't know any warm bar with cold beer paul thanks for hanging out with me today really appreciate it this has been the edge's first taste at cmw catch silverstein tonight with good charlotte danforth music hall see you there